Hey guys, it's Matthew. It's good to be back. It's been a while since I posted a video. It's been a pretty good long time. Uh, even though I did post a test video today, uh, just trying to test out my equipment, make sure I was still able to do this. Uh, but yeah, it's been eight months since I've had my back surgery. And man, has it been a uh, relief to not have to have four or excuse me, eight titanium screws and two titanium rods in my back. I now have them in a bucket. I'm gonna show them to you here in just a second. Um, but yeah, I wanted to report back. Uh, first of all, I wanna thank everybody who has uh, been watching. Uh, my goodness, I looked at one of the last videos and there were almost 5,000, 3,000. There were a lot of views. And so people were asking questions, and so I'm going to do my best to try to answer some of those. Um, I know uh, one of the guys said in Canada, it's hard to get this done. Uh, and, buddy, my prayers go out to you, and I hope and pray to God in heaven that you find somebody uh, that, will, that will fix you. Because once this, uh, once this metal gets put in our bodies, it, it causes a lot of problems uh, if we can't get it taken out. You see, every time I think about it, I reach and and I, and I touched that back where that metal was for so long. Uh, many of you may not know my story. I fell off of a parking garage uh, some 20 years ago. And uh, I had fractured my spine at the time. I didn't know it. I lived for many years just in agonizing pain. And when my wife and I moved to Florida, uh, we were working in the yard one day. And the unexpected happened as I reached down and squatted down uh, to pick a weed out of the yard. Uh, I twisted and my lower spine just crumbled. It just fell apart. And I was taken to the hospital and where I talked to my doctor and he said, look, he said, we're going to have to put you back together. You're pretty busted. My back was broken and all to pieces. I had been for a long time. I just didn't know it. And so I had reconstructive surgery and they put in... Uh, four, excuse me, eight titanium screws and two titanium rods, uh, L3, L4, L5 to S1. Uh, I was fused. And I was fused for six years. Uh, for six years, I had the titanium hardware in my body. And my goodness, did it hurt. Um, at first, it wasn't so bad, but man, it got worse. And then eventually, the screws came loose. And it really became a problem because the screws, you know, wiggling around in your body are extremely painful. And uh, especially when you see what these dudes look like, man, they're ferocious. These are like weapons of war. These are the two rods uh, that were in my spine for uh, six years. And then they were held in by an assortment of uh, what they call pedicle screws. I'll show you one of those. Uh, they lock together. It's amazing to see the biomechanics of these. You notice this one here. Uh, this is a pedicle screw, and it, it moves just like so, so the doctors can fix it in place. And you can't see it, but this screw right here has got, uh, it actually has, there's a way inside of here. You can take and put a tool in here, and you can screw this in, of course. And uh, whenever this screw is, whenever this screw gets tight, uh, this 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 pedicle head is locked in that position, whatever position the doctor wants it to be in. And then they fix this screw in there. You see, there's a cap right there, and they'll put this rod in it, and they'll put in this cap just like this. And then they screw that cap down, and they torque it down. And they say whenever they tighten them, they don't use a torque wrench like they would on an engine or any other piece of engineering. Uh, the human body is the most finely engineered uh, machine ever devised, made by God. And uh, But these things, they tighten them down until they squeak. And apparently they either got mine too tight or not tight enough, but that's, that's how they're held together. And that was in my back. I had uh, two of those in my back for a long time. And uh, it was extremely painful when they came loose. And... Uh, so I went to the doctor and I asked him, I said, look, I said, I can't stand this anymore. I need you to take it out. And he didn't want to take it out. But after some, some conversation, it took a little bit of convincing. And the doctor finally decided, yeah, I'm going to, uh, 
I'm going to take that out for you. Uh, he's the same doctor that put it in. And so last year on the third day of June, I went in and I had all of the hardware removed from my back. And uh, you'll see a picture showing up here in just a second on the screen where uh, you'll see what my scar looks like now, how it's, uh, how well it's healed. I still have a little bit of scar tissue, but uh, my goodness, uh, it doesn't look anything like it did before. If you look at these other pictures, you'll see what the, uh, what the metal looked like whenever it was inside my body. You can see the, the, the CAT scan, uh, I mean the MRI images and the CAT scan images. Uh, I don't remember if they did MRIs with titanium in me. I can't remember. Um, it's supposed to be non-ferrous, but I, I really don't know. Anesthesia does uh, uh, strange things to the mind. But uh, yeah, it's all out of my body now. Uh, so the big question is now is what kind of pain do I have? Well, I don't have a lot of pain anymore. I don't have any of the bone pain. Of course, bones can't hurt, but I don't have any of the, the nerve pain that I used to have. Occasionally, there'll be some pains that'll shoot here and there, but uh, those are fairly rare. Uh, the scar tissue is uh, fairly tender. Uh, sometimes it can be painful. Uh, the scar tissue is what you need to work on the most. Uh, a good massage therapist can be, a, can be an angel uh, if you can find one. And uh, my wife, uh, by the grace of God, she'll rub mine whenever it gets to hurt and she can take and knead that scar tissue and make it feel better. But I will tell you that immediately after I had the hardware removed, I could tell it was gone. And uh, I can't feel it there anymore. The, the protrusions through the skin are gone. And uh, they just didn't need to be back there. So I was able to get my doctor to, uh, to, to help me. Uh, so I appreciate everybody who has commented in the past. Uh, continue to do so. I'll try to update. I'm going to have other videos of different types. Uh, I'm, my wife and I like to travel. We're missionaries. So uh, there's no telling what you're liable to see on our channel. But I did want to post an update uh, for you uh, who were interested in, in, uh, in this back surgery situation, who may be suffering with the same thing. Uh, I want to help you in any way I can. Uh, by the grace of God, I was healed. Uh, and I can walk again. Uh, and I grant all that. I give all the credit for that to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, so I pray that each and every one of you find some way to get relief uh, if you're suffering through this same situation as I am. Uh, you'll find links uh, in the description below. Also, you'll note, uh, you'll see I'll post some of the other videos as I uh, end this one uh, where you can go and look at some of the other things I've posted in the past. Trust me, the anesthesia has made me uh, forget most of what I did, so I have to go back and watch the videos to remember for myself. But yeah, watch these other videos if you're uh, going through what I went through, and you can find uh, you can find a way out. Uh, there is hope on the other side. If you've got metal in your body and it's causing you trouble, please, you know, if you can, take it out. Uh, it was a big help to me, and it would be a big help to you. Uh, I'm not a doctor, not giving medical advice, but uh, I will tell you, for, for a man that had titanium in his body for six years, I sure was glad the day that it was gone. Well, that's my two cents worth. I look forward to posting it again very, very soon and much more regularly. Uh, so thank you all, and, uh, and God bless. Take care.